Number six is Sorrel Street Residence in Brisbane. It's good to have a residential project in there, especially one like this where you've got the old and the new that had plenty of discussion around how they blend together. And it's fantastic to actually see that discussion has resulted in this project making the finals. Well, you've got two choices when you're extending an old heritage house. You can either hide the new, or perhaps the braver choice, you can put it front and centre. Sean, this isn't exactly a bit of Queensland heritage, is it? I mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, it's definitely something a little bit different. We wanted to take a different spin on a renovation and an alteration of a Queenslander. And yeah. Really, this is what we've come up with. This is really a highlight of the house. And when it does rain, it sort of creates this undeliberate but serendipitous water feature. Wow. Which is something really special. And I guess that's something that we love about the house is there's this continual changing of light. Yes. And we've punctuated the house with all these different skylights and moments that yep. just give you a different experience of the spaces. Yep. You know, for us in the work that we do, we want to both acknowledge what has come before, because that's yes. where we've learned. Yes. Um, but at the same time, we want to live appropriately to the time and place. Yes. And I think we're living in the subtropics in the 21st century, yes. and it's really important that we design houses that respond to that. Tell me that graffiti wasn't part of the big picture. It actually was. I think it catches a lot of people by surprise, but it is a commissioned piece of art. The clients had this idea about how the neighbour's retaining wall, which essentially is a sort of blank wall on the edge of the property, could become a fifth elevation to the house. There definitely is this sort of almost uh, double personality of the house, yeah. and I think that's something that we really enjoy about the place, is that while clearly there's this contemporary work that's been done from the outside, when you're on the inside, there is a completely different experience. Yeah. And what we've tried to do is really honour the cottage in a way that it sits on the land as mm. it has for 100 years. So this really is the quintessential outdoor room, isn't it? Well, we certainly tried to make it that. Um, you know, for us, rather than thinking of inside, outside and garden, we're really just trying to think about one environment. I have to say, what a way to greet your guests. This incredible articulated screen that you've just created out of a common brick. It gets better on the other side. Oh, good, good. Oh, this is beautiful. So there, there really is this very mystical kind of feel to this wall as a function of you know, turning the bricks at 90 degrees and then letting this borrowed light come through the screen, which in this instance we think works because it's a table tennis room that can really be internal. I love it. So Carmel, this was quite the collaboration because really everything we're sitting in and looking at interiors wise was all your lovely work. Yes, thank you. And it's got a lovely balance about it. Why don't you drop a few names for me, because these are quite famous. Yeah. Yes, uh, these are the uh, Pebble Tables by uh, Linda Rose. Yeah. And we've got a lovely flexible side table by Mia Hamburg for Anne Tradition. Yeah. And this sofa is by Michelle Deschroy. Your husband's a builder. Yes. You're clearly very creative. Thank you. Um, between the two of you, why don't you just do this yourself? Oh, that would be impossible. Sean was a cycling friend of my brother's and that yes. was sort of the catalyst to uh -huh. um, approaching him to begin with. So there are a couple of bikies? Yes, but I, I needed some inspired solutions. It just all went from there. Well, look, it was a match made in heaven. Mm. I think this Thank is you. really a very impressive piece of work. Thank you very much. Architect Sean Lockyer's decision to not try to mimic the old home has paid off tenfold. This beautiful contemporary home seamlessly feeds its way into the core of the old existing home. So in a way, they've created a beautiful, stylish, practical home that still honours the original heritage and its story.